The Kepler's laws on planetary motion are a set of three mathematical formulae that describe the orbital motion of planets around their star. More generally, it describes the orbital motion of satellites of smaller mass around a larger fixed mass due to gravitational attraction between the two. After conducting a long-term observation with the motion of planets in the solar system, German astronomer Johannes Kepler formulated three mathematical equations that can describe the orbital motion of planets around the Sun slightly modifying the Copernican heliocentric model. These three equations are the Kepler's laws, which would later become the basis of Newton's formulae on gravitation. Therefore, the Kepler laws are one of the foundations of classical and modern astrophysics. Each law is significant in its own way. In Johannes Kepler's original words, the first law states that the orbit of every planet is an ellipse with the Sun at one of the two foci which can be seen in the equation here. This law overthrows its traditional views on planetary orbits, whereby planets orbit in perfectly circular orbits. The second law states that a line joining a planet and the sun sweeps out equal areas during equal intervals of time, making the mechanical energy of the system constant at any given point during an or orbital period. It is important to note, however, that Kepler derived this law independent of the law of the conservation of energy. The third law states that the ratio of the square of an object's orbital period with the cube of the semi-major axis of its orbit is the same for all objects orbiting the same primary, which is what Newton later used to derive his law of universal gravitation. These three laws are usually written in the format of mathematical equations for practical usage for astronomers and astrophysicists. Nowadays, astronomers can use the Kepler laws to predict the motion of planets as long as they have a knowledge of the orbital parameters or current position and the velocity of the planet. Currently, the Kepler laws are being widely used in detecting black holes, discovering exoplanets, predicting asteroid impacts, spacecraft guidance, and investigating planetary sciences. As you may already have realized, like the laws of kinematics, instead of a unified equation, the three Kepler's laws are a set of abstract equations that describe different relations of the different orbital parameters of a satellite. However, in contrast to the laws of kinematics, the Kepler's laws involve large amounts of mathematical knowledge concerning elliptical conics and calculus. Therefore, large amounts of mathematical derivation and calculation must be done to predict the motion of planets in the future, based on existing data, costing large amounts of time. To counter this problem, this online calculator has been made with the necessary calculations already derived from the original Kepler's laws and programmed into this calculator. Now, users could just input the velocity and position of a satellite relative to the center mass at a particular point in time, along with the mass of the central mass, to obtain the orbital parameters of the satellite as predicted by the calculator's algorithm. Moreover, one could also find the position and velocity of the satellite at any given time in the future with the calculator. With this calculator, users could just predict the motion of a satellite in the press of a few keys. However, a few things to note is that this calculator does not consider relativistic effects, so don't use this for black holes, neutron stars, or perihelion precession. Moreover, the original Kepler's laws assumed a fixed central mass, so M-body systems, like Pluto and Charon, also won't work with this calculator. If you want to check out the calculator, or if you're curious about how this calculator works or how the calculator was created, check out the link in the description. Also, check out these other videos right here that explain the equations of Newtonian gravitation, special relativity, and the rocket equation.